Hello Pisces, welcome. I'm Ryan, thank you for being here. This is going to be a general tarot reading so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel and Brow 33 Tarot if she's read for you as well. Thank you. See what's going on. <laughs> Split the deck, and there you are. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my goodness. Um, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Hold that thought. Let's see where this is going. Ooh, goodness gracious. A um, little bit more, then I'll jump into this. Just based off of what I'm sensing from this. Um, Okay, that's what I was wondering. Ooh, goodness, Pisces, a little more. Okay. All right. Um, show up tomorrow. I will give you. A, I will give you a little bit on this, but show up tomorrow, and we'll talk about who you're dealing with. Goodness gracious, it's not getting. It's not getting any easier, here, Pisces. Um, and as I say that, it's like as you know, it's like prepare yourself for what I'm about to say. Um, I don't know exactly what is going on with the emphasis on the message that I'm sensing from this immediately, but something feels like um, skin crawly, like crawling out of your skin. It's just, there's like this overall energy of discomfort and just not okay. Not okay. I don't understand what this is about. What you're just showing me is in one sense, there is a form of acceptance to surrender to something here that you've had quite a train of thought or process about or on. It's kind of saying, rest assured about this, you kind of put this behind you. At the same time, whatever that is that you're letting go of, it's now like what to do about things moving forward. And I'm not too sure exactly what this is about. Um, I've kind of feel like you've compartmentalized your thought process about different details or different aspects of the situation, the circumstances that you're finding yourself in. So letting something go. But now it's like now there's something else kind of popping up in its place that you're actually having quite the anxiety and stress and kind of a little bit of worry over. Um, and I feel like for you, it's regarding like, um, what does that mean for this? Or what does that mean for that? It's I don't know if this is an energy of kind of like looking back and having the after effect or the hindsight to the realization about this or about something moving forward. But overall, whatever this truth is, you're ultimately having to kind of make that decision for yourself as to, where you're truly at within all of this, emotionally speaking. You're showing up with a lot of emotional energy to give and invest and share. You're showing me that you do care. You do have emotions and feelings. You are happy, fulfilled, and content. At the same time, there's something here, emotionally speaking, that, and I kind of feel like this is where that hindsight is kicking back in. There's something regarding the hindsight regarding memories, whether it be in the past of which you're kind of like no longer thinking about, but it's kind of like this leftover lingering feeling. Like I said, it's like this energy of like um, skin crawl. It's like, um, you're, you're actually showing me that something here is just very, very and absolutely disappointing and upsetting to the point where it's even difficult. I got to show you Pisces to where it's even difficult to truly whenever say let go of and get through. It's not an energy of like, just get over it and let it go. It's not something like that. It's something that is deeply affecting you on a, it's a much deeper level, emotionally speaking. 
Um, and this is where your energy as well as their energy is beginning to kind of interact and their energy is kind of jumping into the reading. And I kind of feel like what's going on here is what I, I gotta be honest, what I'm looking at is a family. I'm looking at parental figures. Um, and it's, you know, of course, it's not just because of the cards or the pictures on the cards. No, I'm looking at a family here. Um, you're ultimately saying that something needs to change. Something has got to change here. Something has got to change for us. Something has got to change for the family. I don't exactly know what that's about. But regarding the commitment, the relationship or possible marriage here between the two of you, that is what's in the process of being talked about or discussed between the two of you as to what to do about everything, what to do about everyone. Um... I don't exactly know what is going on here, but there's a lot for you to kind of contemplate and sit with and kind of check in with yourself and see where you truly actually sit emotionally and mentally speaking when it comes to your commitment, your relationship, or your marriage or your family matters. Um, I don't exactly know what this is, but what you're saying is after some contemplation and after sitting with yourself about this, you do, it's interesting because you do want to move forward at the same time. You're kind of like saying, I'm just so tired and fed up with dealing with something or straightening something out or trying to change and shift some things around um, that you're just actually emotionally checking out. You're just emotionally checking out. You're kind of like, I'll move forward. But emotionally speaking, I'm not, it's kind of like, it's just gone. It's inner, just emotionally and energetically gone. And I don't know what that's about. So let's keep going. This could be something of a, okay, this could be something of a juggle between family life, family matters, and work and career, because I kind of feel like that is, that is what it's about. Um, ooh, yeah, and that, that's actually, you know, this, this energy is paralleling Leo's energy, and Leo is on top of the deck listening, as well as your energy, Pisces, was on top of Leo's deck. When I finish their reading, um, I do recommend you watch that reading as well. Of course, if you have in your chart placements, are you dealing with the Leo? Because um, you guys are clearly, you know, on the same page in a sense when it comes to energy speaking. Um, could make a joke and say timelines, but it's not funny. Um, you're trying to figure out how to juggle everything, how to juggle everything. It's an energy of you You want definitely some time to yourself, some time alone to kind of like hear your thoughts, sit with yourself, kind of fill out your, where your emotions are at, what you truly want to do, what you don't want to do. Um, and I kind of feel like you're getting a little bit tired and fed up with certain things, whether it be tasks, endeavors, whether it just be everything you got to manage and take care of and be responsible for or not. Um, you do have some sort of grand vision in mind of what you want to kind of do for work and career and finances. At the same time, there also is this little bit of hesitancy in your energy to not necessarily know exactly for sure what it is you're wanting or desiring to create and do for yourself. And I kind of feel like for you right now, what you're saying is things aren't very clear with certain areas in your life or in the situation of the dynamic between you and them and everyone and what you got going on financially speaking. So right now it's just an energy of, let me just kind of press pause and more so just fill things out to where I feel called to move in any type of direction at all with anything or possibly with anyone. Um, it, it will come to you, though. It will come to you. So, of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with a water sign, an earth sign, or maybe fire or air. They're all here. 